seen the event record get broken once, and we're going to see it happen again. And an event win for Iceland Annie, Sarah Sigmund's daughter, an event record. And the champ is here, Patrick David's daughter. We are being treated to a great preview of what we're going to see in July in Carson. And here's a foot race to the finish, Thor's daughter, Sigmund's daughter. I absolutely thrive on waking up with a purpose in mind, waking up with a goal and wanting to become better. Even if I wouldn't be the best, I would still be doing this because I like getting better, I like challenging myself. Just that satisfaction, accomplishment. I had my mind set on so many things, like when I was younger, but I never reached it because I just gave up. Now, I never give up. I never quit. Before I started CrossFit, I was a, a fat kid. I still am fat inside. I, I love food. Oh, what a Gerber baby she was. And I, I never knew what that was, you know. And then she pointed out the baby food. And uh, there was this face, always smiling. It's probably when I was starting getting like pretty fat. I was wearing this belt to be skinnier. <laughs> it's fun to see the changes. So everybody owns dogs and cats or something, but my bird is life. And of course her name is Polly. <laughs> so I'm making oatmeal or 100 grams of egg whites, 20 grams of oatmeal, 10 grams of cashew nuts. I said to myself that I have to drink half a glass of beetroot juice every morning. It's the worst thing that you could possibly drink. A lot of vegetables. Vegetables. Berries. Berries. <laughs> this is like my reward for eating this. <laughs> Not always the same, but it has been the same now for almost a year. Yeah. Fried eggs, some bacon, then we're gonna have oatmeal, and some peanut butter. We're drinking apple juice with fresh ginger. Every morning we do eight eggs. Anytime I add anything that will add a couple of minutes to the duration of how long it's gonna take to cook dinner, it starts like Seeing these like clouds coming out of her ears gets a little angry. <laughs> this is why I wake up happy and ready to get out of bed because breakfast is so good. I scramble like two eggs and two egg whites into some broccoli sauce and then oatmeal and banana. A glass of water and some coffee with half and half. I normally swim on Thursdays. Um, I have a chiropractor appointment, a massage appointment. <laughs> I, <laughs> I end up doing a lot of stuff. So now is when the training gets fun, weird, outside the gym. This is what Catcher and I talk about all the rest of the year. We talk about these five or six weeks. Being the last regional, we have about six weeks to peak. How do I look with this swim cap? You look amazing. Yeah. I tried every sport when I was younger, but I just, I didn't like team sports. Uh, I stayed in swimming for the longest, but I was always lying like, oh, sorry, my foot, uh, I fell down in school today. And then I had like a Band-Aid and I had put it catch up under the band and I was like, my mom said that I couldn't go into the swimming pool today because I fell in school. I always had these weird excuses because I just, I, it wasn't fun. So, food time. <laughs> You're not gonna hang out with Annie? What? <laughs> it's a competition. Was it a plan that both the girls were here at the same time? I, I planned it all. Okay, start on 10 and three, two, one, go. We apparently push each other to become better. And I think that mindset that if one of us can do it, why can't I do it? It's gonna push you even further. 
I think Annie is one of the most impressive athletes in the field today. Um, she's been in there for a long time, which is an impressive feat in itself, despite having a couple of setbacks. I felt really good going into the CrossFit Games 2015. Unfortunately, I had a little incident there in Murph, and weird thing is, is I've never really had issues with training in the heat before uh, previous years. I felt it a little bit on triple three, but nothing to that extent. I have never seen Annie Thor's daughter look like this in any event ever at the CrossFit ever. Games. I had to pull out of the Games 2015 because of a heat stroke, just overheating. I'm gonna make sure that's not gonna happen again. That's not gonna be how people are gonna remember me, for sure. So last year was a surprising year because being first place the whole time and then losing it just in the end in handstand push-ups, which is my favorite exercise. I was like, oh, I'm gonna think about that moment every day now when I wanna give up. Like, I, I don't ever wanna feel like that again. It's just gonna make me stronger this year. I didn't really set out last year to win the CrossFit Games. I wasn't even thinking towards the Games. It was, I loved the everyday. I loved the training. I moved to Boston so that I could train full time at CrossFit Union with Ben Bergeron. I like to use the analogy of like the sled dog. Like she's the type of dog that wants to be doing work. She wants to be in the gym. She's the person that I have to pull back and say, you've done enough, let's not do more. So it's easy in terms of the motivation part with Catherine. I fell in love with the process. You know, focus on my mentality. I, I read sports psychology. Ben talks to me about what to focus on and, and what I should be thinking. Last one, come on, Kat. Katrin is the best I've ever seen at focusing on the process and understanding how all the little things build up to a performance on game day focusing on the things that she has control over and letting everything else brush off her shoulders. She's the mental monster. Okay, I love ice cream with like a lot of candy in it. With cookie dough, that's so good. Uh, like in, uh, in LA, they have this place called York Yogurt Land. Wow. And it has like, you can put as much cookie dough as you want in the ice cream. And it's like, you're like, oh, it's, it's just yogurt ice cream. I can put more candy. <laughs> you have to lie that to yourself to feel better. <laughs> it's, oh, it's so good. But you're I'm, denying yourself it. Yeah, for now. Uh, How come? I want to be the fittest on earth. Then I have to eat right. I'll eat it straight after the games. Sunday. You're good man. <laughs> <laughs>
Hamishim, Yakobos. This is where they grill all the giants. Yes. So we were working on, yeah, strongman things. Haftar was there to help us out. While it basically says no, no push allowed. No, no weak people. <laughs> Haftar is one of the strongest people on earth. Oh. He is the mountain on the Game of Thrones. Chances are there's going to be some sort of like strongman inspired stuff that shows up. At the Invitational last year they had the stones. <laughs> I'm really fortunate that I get to work a lot with Reebok, whether it's with the media team, whether it's with designs. The look at my arm and this, it looks like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually this year getting to do my own shoe. It's so exciting. I've like put a lot of thought into that, and I um, actually a tank also. <laughs> decisions, decisions. <laughs> Done. We're gonna do a birthday workout for my mom. She's turning 50. So everyone's gonna do filthy 50, uh, and then we're gonna do a barbecue afterwards. <laughs> I always love training when. My parents are training at the same time, or my brother and cousins, and like... It's cool how intercrossed they are. This is what we talk about all the time. I know that some people think that we are crazy, but CrossFit is such a big part of our lives. We're completely finished. <laughs> <laughs> jam burgers! Oh yeah! <laughs> Secret to the burger is, is jam underneath the cheese. And people come in first time, jam? And then they taste it, and then they go, ooh, jam. Jam is the key. <laughs> Golden berries, Icelandic strawberries. Yes, you never shove food when you're hungry. <laughs> Bad idea. <laughs> Five weeks. I should train with this mask on, Justin Bieber. Because you love him so much? Because I love him so much. <laughs> I'm fitter than I've ever been. I'm stronger than I've ever been. There's not one day that I haven't thought about last year's games. It comes up in my mind in every session. I want to be the best me that I've ever been at the games this year. And I feel like I'm definitely on the right path for that. enough to win the CrossFit Games. I want to win the CrossFit Games because I want to prove that all the girls that gave up on sports when they were younger and didn't think that they would do anything, that everything is possible if you work hard for it. You could actually have three Icelandic girls on a podium. How sick would that be? 